Okay, I'm going to go ahead and update uh, the main uh, on my uh, Neo Geo control stick. I went and plugged it in to the Neo Geo Mini and it light up automatic using the Bluetooth. So the screen have changed. Okay, just let you know the screen have changed. Last time when I did the video like a day ago, you had to click up here to do the, the update. Now they just recently update the main page and they don't call it beta no more. So it's official 1.05 for the 8-bit uh, dough uh, dongle. So it's going from a 1.04 to 1.05. So it's preparing update. I didn't click on anything. I just click update and it automatically went to do this. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the controller. So update is completed. All right, so now 8-bit Do Neo Geo receiver is 1.05. I'm going to go ahead and unplug that. I'm using the C connection directly. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in. Okay, change to a wire and I plug into the controller. Uh, let me press the stop button. Okay, I didn't recognize it yet. So I press the stop button. Some reason is not recognizing uh, it. Let me unplug it. Plug it back in. <clears throat> okay, so I have to use the cable that come with it and plug C to USB C to USB A to the computer. Uh, while I got use a different adapter, it didn't like it. Okay, so now it's saying that this is a beta version 1.0. So in the in the past, I didn't forgot to look at the uh, version it was, but yeah, all of them came with 1.0 beta version. But now it's updating to uh, 1.09. And they don't call it beta version anymore. So it's official 1.09 update. Okay. So they want you to unplug the cable and hold uh, L and R and stop. And then you wait till the red light on the top where the USB C is plugged in. Uh, it's blinking red, then plug into the C back in to the controller and it only manage update kick in. Now I have an 8 bit dough uh, version 2 dongle that I just purchased. It's a brown one, and that one's supposed to work with Neo Geo and Switch. So we are going to test that out right now. I'm going to go ahead and unplug my Neo Geo controller and open up my 8-bit. It's called a 8-bit USB OTG and it's supposed to be a version 2. Okay, I just plug in the 8 bit though, and it is recognized it as a firmware 1.06 beta 1. So, to add support to Neo Geo Gamepad, it will add support to Xbox Lite Wireless Controller Series 2 Cord Controller, add support to Xbox Adapter Controller. I mean, added support. Fixed the issue that sometimes the button do not respond after game pass connected. Huh, interesting. Okay, so it's gonna go from, oh, it's gonna go from a 1.05 to a 1.06, but it's gonna support Neo Geo gamepad. So that's cool. That means it should work with Nintendo Switch and it should work with Neo Geo arcade stick as well. 
Okay, well, you don't need to click anything. It, just click update. And now it's updating. So this is the adapter 2. Uh, I got the brown one because I didn't want to confuse anybody because uh, Mad Little Pixel did confuse me because he used the same black one and that's the reason he was pushing the button because uh, this one does support the button pushing. Okay, updates completed, but they did call it a beta version. So, all right, so it is a uh, 8-bit do or do USB adapter version 2 and now is a uh, firmware 1.0. So unplug it, hold the pair button on the receiver, then hold the pair button on the receiver, then plug in the USB cable. LED light will blink. Why would it tell me that? Unplug the receiver, hold the pair button on the receiver, then plug in the USB cable. Okay, so it wants you to hold the button first and on the receiver in the USB cable. So you have to press the button, then I guess plug your button and hold the pair button on the receiver, then plug in. So you have to hold it, plug it in, and then the LED light will stop blinking. Alright, so that's the instruction they gave us.